What a controversial statement. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5, this epistle that Paul wrote is directed to believers in Corinth. That's right, those people that love the Lord. And I'm going to back up my statement of being aware of what kind of Christian company you keep. And Paul dwells straight into um, this topic in chapter 5. And he says, and he condemns spiritual pride. He condemns the, uh, the people in that church for accepting sin and compromising. And he reiterates those sentiments from verse 10 onwards of chapter 5. He says, But I wasn't talking about unbelievers who indulge in sexual sin or are greedy or cheat people or worship idols. You have to leave this world to avoid such people. And that's true. The Bible says we're in this world but not of the world. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't have to uh, be in the company of non-believers or just isolate yourself. Yeah, this is a warning and quite rightly so. I started our daily devotion with that very impactful uh, introduction of a warning signal. Sometimes we get too complacent with the people around us. We tend to drop our guard. We tend to assume that all the people we interact with, especially those that are so-called in inverted commas, Christians, are those people that will look after your back and that will in some way join you in this path of righteousness. Paul goes on to say in verse 11 of chapter 5 of 1 Corinthians, I meant that you are not to associate with anyone who claims to be a believer yet indulges in sexual sin or is greedy or worships idols or is abusive or is a drunkard or cheats people. Friends, these are not my words. Those are words found in the Bible in the New Living Translation. And if it's pricking your conscience, if it's getting to you, I'm excited because then the Holy Spirit is working. And in that same verse, in the latter part of that verse, he says, don't even eat with such people. My, that is strong. Now, don't only think of eating as in physical eating. I want you to look at the bigger picture. When you sit down to eat with someone, you kind of ac accepting their friendship, their fellowship. You are joining with them as one. You're accepting what they stand for. You are, you are part of that company. You yoking yourself with them. Now, friends, there's nothing wrong in visiting people. Please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Just keep your guards up. Just be aware of the people you are interacting with and forming friendships with and fellowships with. You know, it's so easy to go astray when you have the wrong company. Friends, I've been there too. But people say, well, if for me to say, to go and make an impact with people, I got to be in the company of them. That's true. And God will give you through the working of the Holy Spirit in your life, the discernment of who to be in fellowship with. Please, again, I stress, it doesn't mean you got to isolate yourself. And in, in the last verse of that chapter, Paul says, God will judge those on the outside. But as scriptures say, you must remove the evil person among you. How do you do, do that? You disassociate yourself. Now, love them from a distance. Don't be arrogant about it. Still show love, but distance yourself. Father, once again, we come in no other name but of your son, Jesus Christ. Daddy, thank you for your word that cuts through bone and marrow, flesh and joint, separating the soul and spirit. Thank you for, Lord, instructions directly from you through your word. And now we should walk and live this Christian life. 
Daddy, please, I pray that you would highlight, expose those situations I need to move away from and those people I need to start loving from a distance. Help me to portray always the mind of Christ and not to hate anyone, not to be arrogant, but to just show them love, but keep my distance. Give me the discernment. I pray that I speak it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, once again, my time's up. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.